hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're making soup so don't forget to subscribe yeah so i'm going to start off by putting um butter and oil to fry up my mince as you guys can see i'm gonna put that mince in there and kind of just brown it and make sure that it's nice and browned Next, I'm going to put some salt and pepper in the pan and make sure that it's going to brown. So yeah, that's freshly ground black pepper. Oh, those are mixed peppercorns, but that could work too. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm browning the meats. And once I'm done browning it, I'm gonna take it out. Okay, so now, I am just chopping up my veggies I have onion it's a half an onion and a carrot and a celery stick and a potato and I think that other one is a two turnip I don't know what that's called so yeah I'm just gonna roughly chop all of those veggies up and then I'm gonna start by um, yeah just roughly chopping them up okay so next i'm going to um fry my vegetables in that very same oil that i used to fry the beef mince okay so i'm gonna start off with my celery my onion and my carrots Okay, next I'm going to add some garlic and ginger. I'm going to be very liberal with that. Okay, so next I'm going to chop up my potatoes and my turnip. Um, I'm gonna roughly chop them. I'm not chopping them any like anyhow. I'm just gonna roughly chop them with no system. And then, So next I'm going to add some freshly ground black pepper again and some chili flakes at this point. Okay so next I'm going to add some seasoned salt. Quickly I'm add actually adding some spices and I'm going to add some mother-in-law masala mix as well as garam masala. And then I'm also going to add some Italian herbs to the mix after I stirred everything up as you guys can see so yeah that makes it taste good next I'm going to add my beef to the mixture and I'm going to mix everything together before I put some water Okay, so now I'm going to mix everything together and add just a bit more salt before I add my potatoes and my turnip. Um, parsley, the parsley, yeah. So I'm parsley, roughly chop that and put it in a blender with some garlic and blend that together. And then, as you can see, it won't blend. So I'd have to put some oil in there to kind of make it like a pasty I'm making a pesto type of situation okay so i'm going to put that pesto in my soup and mix it up really nicely make sure that it's nice and mixed in there and then i'm going to let that sit for about 30 minutes before i move on to the next step next i'm going to put some worcestershire sauce as well as some soy sauce just to add some flavor next i'm going to put some amasi normally i put um double cream yogurts but i don't have that so i used amasi instead 
and I'm gonna let it sit for about another 20 minutes before it, it is ready so now I'm going to serve it up darling and it looks so good it smells so good I'm just ready to dig in darling Okay, so next I'm going to put some parsley to garnish, some dried parsley, just a little bit, don't go overboard. And then, yeah, that's, that's it, guys, that is my soup, and it tasted so good, it was so bomb, but I'm probably not going to have soup again for the next five months. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in my next one, bye.